In this video, we're going to look at creating justified navigation. And by that, I mean something that equally spreads along the width of a parent container. Now, in this case, I've got a white container here, which is centered in the middle. And you can see that I've got very evenly spaced items here. Now, these uh, little chaps don't look great at the moment. Uh, they've got a little bit of gray background. That's just to demonstrate how the width of these are basically even, or, or the spacing of these is even across this container. Now this isn't using any technology that's new, it's, it's very old technology. We're basically gonna be using text align justify to achieve this effect. And this can be done with containers or anything. In this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an, a navigation element, so an HTML5 nav element. We're gonna create an unordered list within it, list items within that, and then these are just links, so anchor elements. And we're gonna basically spread them across the page. Now the first thing that we're gonna look at is the sort of, not wrong way to do this, but the less efficient way to do this. And then we'll go ahead and look at doing it this way. Now you'll notice that as I pull this inwards, everything responds nicely. So this is you know, absolutely fine for responsive web development as well. So let's go ahead and dive straight into the code and see how we can achieve something like this. Okay, so we're starting out with just a basic document outline. We're gonna go ahead first of all and create this container and get this out of the way and done with. Just basically so we have something to place this within so we can see how things are responding. Uh, if you're applying this to your own website, you'll probably already have a container like this. Let's go ahead and do this quickly though and style this up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set the, the background color of the body to a light gray or something like that, just so we can distinguish this between the white of the container. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a container, um, a class to this container, I've already done so. And we'll go ahead and give this a background of white and we'll go ahead and set a maximum width of this container to 960 pixels. And we'll go ahead and center it. So we'll set the margins to zero top and bottom and auto left and right. And that will give us something like, if we fill it in with some text, like this. So we've got our container here, we can go ahead and look at how we might build up this navigation. Now we'll go ahead and create a nav element. We'll go ahead and give this a class as well, uh, just to identify it. We'll call this nav justify. So we're going to take a look initially at what we might do to spread these out. And then we'll look at why it's not ideal. And that's just basically giving this widths. So if I go ahead here and create an unordered list, as you'd probably expect from navigation items, we'll go ahead and create LIs and then anchors within this as well. And we'll go ahead and just enter some text for each of these. So if I go ahead and just copy these down, we'll have home, about us, videos, contact us and visit us. In fact, we'll get rid of that. Home, about us, and uh, we'll go for videos and contact us. Now, ordinarily, you might think, well, how can I get these to, you know, respond in the way I want to? Well, in this case, we've got one, two, three, four containers. So what we could do is we could apply a width of 25% to each of these. Now, likewise, if we had an additional, which maybe was visit us, we could go ahead and apply these at 20% width. So we could have this at 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, makes of 100%. But let's go ahead and look at a better way of doing this. So we'll do it the first way first, and then we'll take a look at how we can change this. So let's target nav justify, the class that we added to our uh, navigation item, and let's target the unordered list within it and just tidy this up a bit because at the moment it looks like this, so it's looking a bit like a normal unordered list. So we'll go ahead and set the list style type to none. That will basically just go ahead and get rid of the disks you see there. We'll set the padding to zero and the margin to zero, and we'll also go ahead and ah, no, that's it. So what we now want to do is go ahead and say with the nav justify. LI items, we want to go ahead and set these as a display inline block. So now what we see is the following. So basically they're just lined up next to each other and that's it. So we've sort of almost there really. So now what do we want to do? Well, let's go ahead and just set the anchors to a color. So we've got a background on these. So we'll say CCC or something. So we've now got something that looks like that. So we can sort of keep an eye on the containers. Now what happens if I wanna go ahead and, I don't know, set these to, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So 
I could go and set a width of 20% on these and we get something like that. Now we've obviously got a problem because we've got some gaps between each one and um, let's just go ahead and inspect these. So we've obviously got a problem where this is sort of breaking two, four, six, eight, a hundred percent. Yeah. So this obviously could be fixed, but the point is that this isn't really ideal. Let's just go ahead and set this to something like 15% for now. So this isn't ideal because if we wanted to add more items to this list, we've then got to go back to the styles and change the width. However nice we get it looking in whatever browsers, if we add more elements to this list, uh, to this unordered list, we're going to have to change the width of each of the items and it's not ideal to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a little trick which lets us set the text align on the unordered list itself to justify. Now off the bat this doesn't work. Uh, we'll see if we set text align to justify. Uh, you'd expect this to just do what a word processor would do and just basically spread out any items to the very edge of the page. If you were to open up your word processor and you typed a paragraph and justified it, uh, you would find that it would spread out you know, to, to the end of the pages. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and trick this into thinking that there's too much content uh, within this one line, which would then go ahead and actually break this. Uh, and then that would mean that the rest of the items are justified. So let's go ahead and look at doing that now. What we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a class that will go ahead and actually break these items. So we have an li down here. We don't need to have an anchor in it. We can just give this a class of break or whatever you want to call it. But let's go ahead and target that. So it's nav u or it's nav justify ul li and then with a li with a class of break. So what we can do is we can just say dot nav justify ul dot break. So we target this. So what do we want to do to this element? Well, we want to go ahead and set a width of 100% on this element. And this element shouldn't exist technically. So let's go ahead and give it a height of, of zero just in case. What this is going to do now is it's going to add, well, we've got, we've sort of added it to the markup, but it's gonna, because it's gonna set a width of 100%, this technically breaks this lineup because it's 100% width, it fills the entire parent container. So this will then break and then force all of the other items to justify themselves along to the edge of the page, like this. So it looks perfect, it's completely and utterly lined up. So this isn't something you typically expect to happen within you know, CSS, and this isn't anything new, it's not new functionality that's been added, it's been a part of uh, HTML since version 4. So we can go ahead and we can add this class to the end here, and it basically just goes ahead and breaks things, which obviously then subsequently makes all of these items line up. So what we can do is to be a little bit more efficient, we can go ahead and get rid of this because technically what we're doing here is we're adding extra markup. So we've got an empty LI here. It looks a little bit messy. We can go ahead and in global.css, instead of targeting break, we can target UL and we can use the after pseudo element. And what this actually does is it goes ahead and it, if we just add a content of space, it has a pseudo element onto the end and pretty much gives us the same, uh, we need to go ahead and, right, so basically because this is a pseudo element, we need to go ahead and set the display type because previously we had each LI targeted as a display inline block. So we'll go ahead and just take this down here uh, because basically then it says that the pseudo element we've created acts the same as a list item. So there we go, we've got the effect back again. We've got the uh, after pseudo element down here and you can see that the stars have been applied to that properly and that just sits there like it would without the need to add additional markup. So basically what we've looked at is a responsive solution. You can see that if we just pull this inwards, it responds really, really nicely. and the beauty about this is if we need to go ahead and add another item or remove another item, let's just go ahead and do so now. Uh, we'll just say social networks or something like that. Then when we go ahead and refresh, that just automatically works. So everything pulls inwards as you know, as you'd expect uh, from a, a sort of elegant solution like this. Now, obviously, as you get smaller, this will start to break down, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's, you know, if, if something naturally breaks down like that, 
it's not all bad. But then again, what you could do is go ahead and add media queries to maybe tidy this up, change the navigation, or use some kind of JavaScript solution or something like that. So that's basically how we create a justified navigation system where everything's nicely laid out and spread evenly across the width of a parent container.